So you love your house and you've been there like, shit, what, nine months? I've been here. It'll be officially eight months, April 19th. So I'm- how do you feel being back in Jersey? Like, you know, with a dope crib that you're happy with, you know, like, how does it feel at this point in your life being back? What part of Jersey? Can you say what part of Jersey? South Jersey. I'm South Jersey. 50 minutes so, away from New York City. So, so how does it to feel to so city, far? How does it feel so far? It took me about two months to realize what I had done. This has been like in layers. Like it, it's been like really a mental fuck in a way. It's been like layers. Like it was two months of greatness. Then it was two months of doubt. You have doubt that I make the right mistake. Did I make a mistake? You know. For me, it was about my daughter and my wife. It <laughs> oh, you made the right decision a, for it, them. Yeah, it wasn't a comedy career. No, I wasn't for them, it's about great. Movies. No, because for them, it's great. Listen, they're out right now. My daughter and my wife are out right now with three other moms. They're at a fucking rock climbing place. You know, huh. Friday, they went to Long Branch just to get pizza, and they went, you know. They got a group of moms here that give a fuck. You know, they try closing the schools here. Good luck. These fucking parents said everything they could to those fucking Board of Education people. I mean, I listened to it on Zoom, and I couldn't believe what they were saying. Were they going off? Going off. You're not going to keep these motherfucking parents. Where I live, it's 74% of people in this town have two kids under 18 living in their house. Uh-huh. So it's a very family-oriented community. Mm-hmm. My wife said one night, you have to hear the Zoom meeting. They went after the superintendent of schools. They were like, fuck you. Were they calling him a cocksucker? Oh, my God. They were like, you're just worried about your contract. If this continues, we'll, we'll veto it. We'll shut you down. We'll shut you down, you miserable motherfucker. And in L.A., you. the parents didn't do dick. Like It was like they accepted it. Like That's it. We're going to just lay down over here. These fucking parents, oh, my God, every fucking day they're sending emails. They call my wife to send an email. Right. They, they got the principal, the vice principal, the state. All this area down South Jersey, the schools are wide open. Mm. Wide open. Five days a week, four days a week, one day virtual. It's up north where it's everything's still shut. My hometown, they're not even thinking about going back to school. They might go back towards the end of fucking April. There's going to be some dumb fucking kids, Joey. There, let me tell you something. These, these fuck, there's kids that last year that got passed that you know shouldn't have passed. There's kids that are graduating that are two fuck, two, two, like a year and a half. I mean, I, I think about like, you know, I see these, these, these things on Zoom classes. If I was a student on Zoom, first of all, they'd kick me, they'd be like, you're not, I, after two days, they'd be like, where you got to do something. They kick me out. But I would run these fucking teachers into the ground. And, and, and the way I was, the fucking disruptive fucking pain in the ass, I would be, I'd make these miserable fucking teachers. If I was a student, I'd have them, they wouldn't sleep if they had me during a pandemic as a kid. I was a fucking pain in the fucking ass. Uh, 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 but I didn't want to be there anyway. Is Zoom class... Come on, man. They're passing fucking people that have no business being passed because what are they going to do? Leave behind 12 kids? Like C and D students? They're like, just, just, I don't want to deal with them again because if you hold them back, you got to deal with these little fucks. So it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be, it's going to be a fallout from this shit in 10 I know years. And then, f- and then in 10 years, these kids are going to be like, well, the trauma from the pandemic because I had to take Zoom class and it was so traumatic. The fuck out of here with that bullshit. Oh, AA meetings are going to be packed with these Zoom kids. These fucking Zoomers are going to be in there fucking. The Zoom I drink, generation. I drink because of Zoom, you know, fucking. I can't see a Zoom, nothing. His last name starts with a Z, so I get yeah. flagged. I relapsed. Let the me Zoom you, generation. Let me tell you something. I saw what was happening to my daughter. I'm not a fucking scholar. I'm not a psychiatrist. The parents were, you know, we were at the beginning of the pandemic and nobody knew what to think. And there was a certain fear. They told you kids won't have it. Let's meet at the park. We'll social distance. Let the kids play with masks on. You couldn't get parents to do that. 
and I could see my little girl going backwards. And when we got here and school right. started, they told us that she was having a little problem. And then they went back on Thanksgiving. You know, school started here September 4th, like nothing happened. Right. And then in November is when they shut us down. A teacher got it, and these fucking parents went to work, Jack. They were like, fuck you. We'll put them in a fucking Catholic school because Catholic schools are wide open. See, COVID don't attack Catholic people. Why not? I don't know. The Catholic schools are wide open. They got no mask on. Nuns are fucking shaking their titties. Everything's fine mm-hmm. in the Catholic schools. The public schools are fucking locked the fuck down. So mm-hmm. how can, you know, Christian Brothers, I think, is closed down a couple schools, but... You, you, the trauma that's going to be done to those California kids and kids across the country, one year of no social activity. It's fucked up. Here I send my door. If it's sunny, you better get the fuck out of this house and talk to kids. I, there's a guy across the street from Staten Island. He's got two kids. I got the Hindus next door. I got the cop <laughs> son down the corner. The Hindus don't go out. It hit India so hard oh. that the Indian kids in the area... And the Asian kids do not go to school here. Wow. I mean, these kids do not even leave their house. My friend They don't has, fuck around, huh? No, my friend has an Indian family next to him. He says, I guess who I saw the other day, the Indians finally came out. I haven't seen them since November. Because it hit India so hard that they got news over here how bad mm. it was. And they're fucking petrified. Are you, are you, um, have you been doing comedy yet? Have you started doing it? Like, what's your deal with doing comedy, doing shows and moving around? Are you doing local shit? What are you doing? Here it is. First of all, I have guilt. I have guilt that if I do a 300 seat show and somebody brings it home, I got to live with their fucking grandmother's death or grandmother getting sick on my death. Number two, I got to be honest with you, Michael Rappaport, you saw what was going on at the store. You saw what we were living as comics. I had been doing it since that, like that, steady since 2010. Oh. Uh, it's time for a fucking breather. You need a break. Everybody needed a break. Good. We were all caught on the Ferris wheel. What's Netflix going to do? What Netflix isn't going to do? Showtime. You got to get there Thursday. They added an extra show. I mean, listen, we did things that I'm very proud of. But we, I think a lot of people step back now and are going, hmm, I think we were going a little bit too hard. 